Here is a quick preview and tutorial for Blender Boolean Bevel add-on. This add-on made entirely with geometry nodes for non-destructive bevel after Boolean workflow. So, to start working with add-on, you can find it in Edit panel. To initiate Boolean operation, you need at least two objects. Active object will be Boolean target. You can pick solver type on start. Set up starting radius. Also, preview mode is available from start. Let's begin with some difference operation. Now we have Boolean bevel modifier on target object. Also Boolean tool object is now a child of Boolean target. Boolean tools also change viewport display mode to wire and visibility on renders is turned off. You can switch Boolean operations in modifier settings. Bevel radius is also here. Bevel iterations control segments quantity. Bevel profile works similar to native bevel modifier style. Rim parameters are for adjusting intermediate tube object geometry used for cutting the bevel edges. It can be seen in preview mode. Rim resolution and rim density changes segments of the rim. You can also use collection instead of object to proceed with multiple Boolean tools in one modifier. Slice operation is also available. After initiating a slice, you get slice Boolean tool and sliced part as Boolean target child objects. Notice that you can pick sliced parts and change similar parameters on both of them at once while holding Alt key. There are chamfer and merge offset parameters. When merge offset option is turned off, you can see strip of the mesh between bevel geometry and initial Boolean geometry. Its distance is controlled by chamfer offset value. When merge offset is turned on, you can also control how far vertices are merged to the edge. Usually, it is better to keep these parameters on default values. Inherit normals option is turned on by default. It transfers normals to fix shading issues. If you will turn it off, you can see some broken normals near the edges, especially when merge offset is turned off. Blend factor also changes how far bevel blends with original surfaces. Pay attention that it is not changing geometry itself, only shading. By default, Boolean result inherits materials from target and tool object.
but it is also possible to assign bevel material separately. When you work with low poly objects, objects with a sharp edge attribute and geometry with sharp corners, there are some special tools for it. For proper workflow, assign auto smooth modifier and unpin it to not override boolean shading. For geometry with sharp angles, it is better to start with preview mode. You can see that if preview is turned off, boolean is not working in some cases. That's because cutting tube geometry has self-intersections. To fix this, you can go to debug menu and add some relax iterations. Now there are no intersections, but tube on corners is not aligned properly. To keep sharp corners on the rim, I can set break angle threshold. Now corners align it and will produce proper bevel. Sometimes holes may appear on bevel geometry when vertex quantity on edges is not matched. To fix this, you can add one or two extra sub D in debug menu. Edge relax parameter also can help. It is possible to use custom profile for bevel. For this we will need profile object. Let's place 3D cursor to the world origin and create object at zero point. It can be both mesh or curve object. Let's switch to the top view. Profile curve should start at zero point and end at one meter on x and y axis, since meters are blender system units. Let's add some vertices. Now I can pick this object as profile object. Simple straight 45 degree curve will produce straight corner. Now let's make some edits on profile object. I can increase bevel segments to represent profile curve better. I can also convert object type from mesh to curve. If bevel profile looks weird, it can be because of wrong curve direction. Let's switch curve direction in edit mode.
Now I can use Bezier curve type with handles to edit profile curve. It is possible to make a variable bevel width. To control it, we will need a separate object with real faces geometry. Let's try with a simple plane. The fall off distance will affect how far bevel width will be affected. Scale amount controls bevel width increasing and decreasing. I can modify a helper object geometry to affect width in different areas. You can also control how bevel width changes through the rim, either in linear or smooth way. In some cases, it's convenient to just use a surface for some booleans instead of solid object, but the manifold solver will not proceed with this. Possible workaround for this is to solidify the surface and use difference boolean. Just keep the surface thickness bigger than desired bevel radius. After that, you can use delete islands option to get rid of unused boolean parts. When many Boolean iterations are applied, it may slow down object transforming and editing, such as rotate and move. For fast manipulations, you can use freeze menu. There is allow bake toggle in it. You can also toggle it through add-on panel simultaneously for all modifiers in stack on all selected objects. When allow bake is turned on, you can go to physics tab and bake geometry nodes results. When geometry is baked, you can quickly move and rearrange objects through the scene. Boolean processing is now freezed and not recalculating in live mode. To get back to editing, you can turn off bake and clear cache. For freezing, you can set up less frames to save time and memory during baking process. Starting from version 1.1.7, 1 
There are two new modes in the add-on, strip and emboss. Both of them work with regular and custom profiles. Also, now you can convert a standard Blender Boolean modifier to a Boolean bevel setup. Boolean parameters in this case are inherited from the add-on panel.